electricity and so on, uh, bikeability, walkability, em emerging as very strong principles in your brain. But what is different then is a whole range of institutional and social processes that we add into the design architecture. So, th so things like uh, collaborative decision making, cross-scale coordination, adaptive governance, emergency preparation, the willingness to experiment, and so on. So there's a, a really strong social process side uh, or institutional design uh, calculus uh, going on in your head, which is laid over the actual hard technical uh, uh, infrastructure system. So I would give you a B plus if I was grading your uh, survey results because that is a very uh, s powerful statement. But how do we get all of this stuff going on in our head? Right? S Scott Page, who's coming up in a little while, will be talking profoundly about the, the, the role of diversity, which uh, you believe in. He'll also be talking a lot about modularity, which you apparently don't believe in. So um, that, that makes for a very nice set. So in the field of complexity, uh, you have something called a basin of attraction. And very simplified, the call, the siren call for resilience is saying, don't expect the bell curve to be the future of any major system, urban system or transportation. You must begin d designing and behaving in ways that get ready for the, a green world, a blue world, or many other worlds uh, inside that particular system. So here's the title of a forthcoming book. I have so many forthcoming books, it's unbelievable. But this one is really cute. Uh, it's The Big Insecurity. And I really had to work to get these words, especially yucky. All right. Now, if we gave you the assignment of designing a urban transport and accessibility system that could cope with this, how would you do? See, I'm seeing puzzled looks here, right? You don't want to accept that this world is coming. I know that. Sigmund Freud knows that. But what if it's coming? All those beautiful designs that we saw last night of what the future of transport might look like paid no attention to this kind of a world. All right, it's a pleasure now for me to uh, introduce Dave Burdish. He's been up here before. Dave's the manager of sustainable business development at Ford Motor. He's also uh, the principal designer of Ford's hu a human rights code. Uh, he teaches at the Ross School of Business. He's on my advisory board, so I have to be nice to him. And uh, he loves Bruce Springsteen. 